All right, it's the first what I ate in a day in the new kitchen and my timing's all off because today on Hot For Food, I'm in my old kitchen and now I'm in my new kitchen and I was gonna try and sync it up, but I just, I can't. So here we are, it's 8.30 a.m. Um, I tried to get up early because I have to shoot um, today's vlog, like Monday, today's Monday. I have to shoot Monday's vlog, which I didn't do on the weekend and thought I would also shoot a what I ate in a day today. I've got a fully stocked fridge. I got lots of food, lots of leftovers. And you've seen the kitchen already in the moving in vlog or the house vlog part five, but maybe I'll show you the fridge for a second. So, I don't know what to have for breakfast, but we do have some leftover grapefruit. Leftover grapefruits. Maybe I'll make a smoothie. I've been on a bit of a smoothie kick lately. Mm. So our bananas are in the freezer. Ooh. Bananas are already frozen. Now that we have full service garbage here, we're recycling, we're doing green bin and garbage. So it's very exciting. Got this at the dollar store, this bin, it's very handy. I never realized how much, you know, green waste I'm just throwing in the garbage. But we couldn't do it at the other place. There was no separate containers for anything. So I happened to pre-cut banana and froze it like that. Now that I have so much freezer room, this is a game changer because before I never used to have frozen bananas lying around that often because I couldn't really fit everything in the freezer, but now I can fit everything in the freezer. We were making margaritas on the weekend for my friend Lowe's birthday here. So I have leftover strawberry and orange because we were making like flavored ones. I'm gonna add spinach to this smoothie. So, I don't know, like a handful like this. I'm gonna add these strawberries, stems and all, just rinse them first. Orange. I'm gonna add what's left of the hemp hearts. Probably two tablespoons. Three tablespoons has 10 grams of protein. And the best thing is we have unlimited ice at the ice machine. Well, it's not unlimited because we used it all on the weekend when we were making margaritas, but it does make a lot of ice. I've never had one of these growing up. I've never had one of these. It's very fancy. Okay, so now the ice is in there and I'm gonna add, um, maybe that's all I need. Let's blend it and see what happens. Oh, I'm gonna add water to loosen it up. Water also comes out of this. Okay, this looks pretty disgusting. <laughs> so we might have to fix my smoothie now. It is kind of missing something, but I'm gonna drink it anyway. It's never good when your smoothie looks gross. I'm not convincing anybody of anything. Okay, I like drinking from this glass straw. I don't know why it feels nice in my mouth. It's okay, it's drinkable. It's not too pulpy because I put banana in it so it's creamier. Hemp seeds make it creamier. The spinach is hidden, you don't even taste it. All right, it doesn't look that nice in here because it's gloomy outside and I didn't put my lights up because I was too lazy to carry them downstairs. As you know, my my house stair problem. Uh, well that's breakfast one or whatever. I have to say, I did, I realized why you guys like my what I ate in a day videos because I stumbled across a video by Bite Size Vegan of what she eats in a day. And I don't know her, I don't watch a lot of her videos. I think she's a great resource for like really informative vegan information. So I've watched some of those videos, but I happened to see her what I ate in a day. And I don't wanna like make fun of her or anything like that because she's her own person, she's her own type of vegan. But I realized why you guys like my videos because watching her what I ate in a day video to me was so unbelievably funny because of what she eats. Like she ate, I think eight oranges for breakfast 15 bananas for lunch, including the peel. Ugh. 
which I don't even think I could ever do if someone paid me to eat 15 bananas. And for dinner, and this is no word of a lie, go try and find this video, or I'll link it below. Like a vat of romaine lettuce heads, like actually as big as the way my hands are. It was like one of those like big, like I just farmed a bunch of lettuce in the field and like put it on the counter. And she like crushed the core of it, like she was a full head, rolls a date in it, and then eats it like, ugh. And like that must have taken her hours to consume. I thought it was a joke because I was like, who can eat this food? Like it's so boring. I just can't imagine she enjoys eating that. And she does say at the beginning of her videos, you know, you don't have to eat this way. This is just how I eat. This is not how all vegans eat. You can be any kind of vegan you want. And I guess she's a raw vegan. But I just could not do that. You couldn't, I wouldn't be able to fit that food in my stomach. Like it wouldn't fit. I would probably get sick and my jaw would hurt like chewing that much food as I sip my smoothie blended. <laughs> anyway, it made me realize why you enjoy watching these because I eat nothing like that. Uh, I do think I eat more realistically the way you guys eat. Um, so it is weird how people, how it became so obsessed people started showing this in the community and then why has it set this kind of bar or standard for that's how we all eat it's really weird I guess it's just people who are willing to put themselves out there then it becomes so visible to people and if it's the only thing you see then you think that like oh this must be the norm but it's just like any trend or like any like celebrity headline like you think it's true but maybe it's not and like we don't really know like some people who might do that or put videos out like that maybe they're they don't do that every day, but they're trying to like spread some message and maybe kind of like fudge the truth. Like, I'm not saying that's what Bite Size Vegan is doing, but there is a bit of an unrealistic way of eating, I think, being displayed on the internet. And it's a little weird. And I think it all just goes back to um, the same as magazines. Like when you read a magazine and they talk about like how you should eat to get bikini body ready. It's like, shut up. <laughs> So I think YouTube's just doing the same thing. It's just a visual magazine, longer format magazine with a bunch of bullshit on it. And you need to decide and decipher what is good for you and not listen to all of us. Like if someone watches my videos and they think I'm full of it and like that I eat terribly, then just don't listen to me. I don't care, but like, I don't know. There's, like I said the other day when I was talking about YouTube and how to make money off YouTube, there's room for everybody and I totally agree with that. But I do think sometimes you gotta be careful and take certain things with a grain of salt because what works for somebody doesn't necessarily work for you. And um, yeah, anyway. We have built-in speakers in the ceiling, so it's amazing because I constantly have this like soundtrack going while I work, which is awesome. Okay, the lighting's way better. I put my lights up and I'm done my smoothie. It's one o'clock. So I have been thinking about the fact that I have leftover pizza in the fridge that we made on Saturday because I had a little party here with my friends for one of their birthdays. So when you have leftover pizza, which rarely happens, all you can think about is the next time you're gonna eat the rest of the pizza. So because it was Easter, on the weekend, I didn't finish eating pizza. So I'm gonna do that now. Oh yes. Ah. Okay, so this is my little cooking setup. This is my gas range. I now have a dishwasher, which is a total game changer. I gotta clean it out, but I can't find my pan. So just quickly heat it up here. Yeah, gas. See, how do you wait for it to heat up, too? Maybe I should put a bit of oil on the pan so it gets a bit crusty on the bottom. Mmm, and then we'll just cover it up. So I got all my tea up in here. I'm gonna do a chai. Bag in instant hot water, right here. Now I'll let it steep for longer because I haven't been doing that properly, apparently. And then I will add almond milk. You're gonna think I'm weird, but I have this like one tiny piece of vegan chicken left over from a couple days ago. So I'm just gonna heat it up and put it on the pizza. Cause why not? Okay, so this is pretty weird, but 
there you go. Chicken pizza, leftover. Now later, I have to test some recipes. Mm. It's easy stuff, I just have to make three dips for french fries. I'm doing a sponsored video. Today, actually, I'm taping it, Wednesday when you're watching this. Which you'll see on YouTube in April. So I gotta test those dips, make french fries. So, see, I should've planned that better. Now I'm gonna be eating french fries later. And I just ate pizza. So I'll probably like make a salad and eat french fries for dinner. <laughs> but I'm at the whim of what I have to make for the blog and for the YouTube channel, so that's what we're doing. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna add almond milk to the chai tea because I like it that way. And it looks like there's some extra pizza toppings in the fridge. Cause we had extra when we made pizza. So there's like a piece of basil. I'll just put a piece of basil on here. And uh, there's some peppers. Maybe I'll just add them cold. It'll be like crunchy. Little slices of red and yellow pepper. Woo, almost lost my pizza. There, now it looks like not so dull. Chai tea and pizza does not go together, but whatever. <laughs> See, and while I'm shooting, I can't have my music playing. So now I'm done this part. So now I can play my music. So it is quarter to seven, I think. I forgot, well, I didn't forget, but earlier when I was chatting with you, I forgot that I was going to my friend's birthday dinner. So I'm going to a Mexican place. So I'll be eating tacos and drinking margaritas. Um, I never ended up doing my dip testing, so I'll either do that when I get home or I'll do it tomorrow. And yeah, so I'll try to shoot what I ate or what I eat at the restaurant on my phone. Hopefully it's not too dark. Just gotta, just gotta go pee and then I'm gonna go. <laughs> Happy I could only take dark, crappy iPhone video of what I ate. So I had a um, small margarita, and then that was like way too easy to drink. So then I had a large margarita, which was like, so I had three margaritas. And then the server was vegan at this place, Milagro on Queen West. I've eaten there before. They make like vegan burritos, enchiladas, whatever. The whole menu is not vegan, but they have options. And they made mushroom tacos with rice and beans. The refried beans were vegan. The server was vegan, so he knew everything on the menu that was vegan, so it was very helpful. And it was delicious. I had three mushroom tacos, and I ate corn chips, obviously. And then everyone had dessert. They had churros, but I couldn't eat those. And now that I have a fully stocked fridge, which is amazing, and freezer that I can actually hold ice cream in. I'm just going to have a couple little bites of Coconut Bliss. It is salted caramel and chocolate. And I just want like one little sweetie thing. Oh my God, there's a massive centipede. Ooh, it's so big, get it, Sickle. There's so many bugs in this house. Oh my God, get it. Sickle. Get that bug. Oh my God, it's so big. Get it. Ugh. Fuck. Oh my God. <sighs> Guys, honestly, since I've been here, I've seen like five massive spiders and like these huge centipedes. I can't deal with it. I did this whole little thing about bugs like in this other video where I was like, I don't kill bugs anymore and this and that effort. Cause I've had such like a saga with bugs like growing up. But I just completely panic when I see them. Like I get into this like, it's as if I'm being murdered. I don't know what to tell you. Like I had to put that thing in the toilet. And I feel bad, but I just, I can't. I can't have it crawling around the thing and then risk it getting into my purse or like into my mouth when I'm sleeping. I don't know. A few people have asked me questions now, like how do you do, deal with bugs? And I did talk about it in some other video and I don't remember where, about how I had to make peace with bugs and that I try not to kill them anymore. And usually I just pick them up in a glass with like a piece of paper underside and I put them outside. 
but I feel like there must be like nests of bugs in this house because we, I mean, it should be fully sealed, but I guess they're coming in from the basement. I don't know, but it's just like freaking me out. And I'm, it, I know I'm being tested. Like I'm in a new house, so I have to make peace with the bugs and I know I'm not supposed to kill them. So I have to do that and that's gonna be the next step. But like I panicked and Snickles was just staring at it, not doing anything because he should just eat it. So if any like vegans out there like don't kill bugs and they want to give me a lecture, please go ahead. But that's where I'm at right now. Like every night I've seen a bug. And that's what happens when you have a house. You just get bugs in it. Well, we built the house over their, their land. <laughs> I have to stress it now. Mmm. This is good, I have to say, it's almost too sweet. I've never had this flavor before. But this is my favorite ice cream. Okay, I'm just gonna have one more bite and then that's it. Anyway, that's what I ate in a day. Thanks for watching. Follow Hot For Food on Snapchat. I don't always show what I'm eating, but sometimes, and sometimes I do it for the whole day. You never know when I'm gonna do it. Night, night. Mm -hmm.